In many countries, learning a foreign language has been introduced as part of primary school education. One reason for this is the common idea that children are naturally better language learners. Another is that in today's world, it's important to make children interested in other cultures. Students write far less by hand today than they used to in the past. Many universities allow the use of laptops instead of pen and paper in lectures. However, it seems using them does not always help the learning process. Some research shows that most students remember information better when they write notes by hand. A research study has concluded that physiological measurements taken from wearable device sensors might actually be able to indicate abnormal fluctuations relating to infections. It is also thought that this continuous surveillance of an individual's health may aid the prevention and containment of strains of influenza. Building the emotional strength and independence of learners is believed to be as important as the knowledge gained in traditional lessons. While not wanting to create an additional subject on the curriculum, teachers are considering how to enable students to develop teamwork and leadership skills. Activities outside the classroom are thought to be essential to achieving this aim. The worldwide effort to cut global carbon emissions is gaining momentum, infiltrating all aspects of industry, including the growth in electric cars and environmental goods and services. This move towards building more sustainable economies encourages investment and creates job opportunities. As a result, many countries have crossed the threshold into a new industrial era. Statistics is the practice of collecting and analyzing data. It involves taking a sample from a small fraction of a wider population. The information gained from the sample allows conclusions to be drawn about the population as a whole without having to gather data on a larger scale.
The rules of geography often determine how a country develops. Countries with a mountainous border have, as a general rule, been much safer than ones with borders that spread over vast flatlands. At some point, the size of a country becomes problematic, as long supply chains can become unsustainable over time. The development of football as a formal, organized sport was hampered by a dispute between Scottish clubs, who wanted to professionalize football, and English clubs, arguing to keep it amateur. Matches between the two countries were prohibited, but this quickly led to a shortage of competitive games. Eventually, England caved in, clearing the way for a professional domestic league. In many schools, pupils aren't allowed to use their phones during lessons. After all, when pupils spend too much time checking their phones, it prevents them from giving their full attention to the lesson. However, the educational possibilities of technology shouldn't be forgotten, because smartphones offer access to a wide range of learning activities. Surely balance is the key. Spending time in nature can improve physical and mental health. An activity known as the forest bath takes this belief one step further. The basic idea is that, to get the maximum benefit from nature, it's important to focus on the smells, sounds, and general feel of the environment. Therefore, forest baths involve far more than a simple walk outside. When governments do not or cannot provide the financial support needed to improve the country's hospitals and schools, citizens themselves may decide to raise the necessary funds through community events. The hard work of individuals can help bring essential services to local communities, but such projects should be in addition to, not instead of government spending. Selecting the right degree is an important decision, and it's natural to consider how particular subjects affect future career opportunities. While business courses are obviously popular choices, creative subjects like literature or philosophy can be just as useful. Such courses encourage creative thinking skills, and companies value employees who can solve problems by looking at issues from different sides.
This research study investigates the effects of different types of music on wild monkeys. The aim of the study is to examine changes in monkey behavior when exposed to music, particularly in terms of social interaction levels. This paper reports several findings and identifies potential applications for the animal conservation sector. As a new student at the university, you will receive a campus card when you enroll. It is important that you always carry this card with you when you're on the campus because it is proof of your identity. You will also need it to borrow books from the library, access certain buildings, and pay for items in the cafeteria. It makes sense for experts in a subject to work together in the same place. Universities are therefore organized into various departments. However, global problems are often extremely